back to the New Jersey Buzz on 920 AM The Voice. This is April Setti, your host. I got so wrapped up in the last segment and I totally forgot to promote the kickoff party at River Horse Brewery on June 20th. So the Ultimate Wish Tour is having their kickoff party. It's a fundraiser for One Simple Wish. And it is June 20th. Go to riverhorse.com. It's going to be a great event. It will sell out, so get your tickets. Most people think that running a business is cool and wow, you have your own business. Being a business owner is not the grass is greener on the other side because it's not. Or I will have flexibility with my life schedule because you don't. Build it and they will come because they usually don't. It's a different gratification, though, being a business owner and a different work ethic. And it definitely has its rewards and struggles and willingness to fail in order to succeed. My next guest, those words describe her to a T. Mary Barnes, owner of the Hob Tavern. Uh, It's on 2nd Street in Bordentown. And I want to welcome Mary to the show. Thank you, April. Thank you very much for inviting me. Of course. I met Mary at a girls' night out um, chocolate martini party. I don't even remember long where. Long time it was. ago. It was a very long time ago. <laughs> we bonded over chocolate martinis and conversation, of course, like women <laughs> that we do. And our paths keep crossing and we kept running into each other at events. And now, you know, we do a lot of stuff together and we do a lot of events together. Yes, we do. Um, and so. One of the things that and why you're on the show is because, you know, we've kind of both grown our businesses as we've known each other. And I've seen you reinvent yourself like a bazillion times and you've done it again. And I just, you know, want to say the one thing about Mary is that she's always looking for something new, something fresh, because you have a lot of competition. That's right. And all small businesses. Matter of fact, the place that we had that marked that girls night out is closed. I know. So, uh, you know, small business is um, a very difficult place to be these days. Um, But as you said, it's exciting. Um, You have the ability to reinvent yourself anytime you want if you want to put the work in. That's the hard part of small business. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work, especially in the restaurant industry. You are there. So it's open seven days a week, the Hob Tavern. Yeah. Open, and I work seven days a week. <laughs> yeah, lunch and dinner. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. uh, but before we go back to that, you were, oh, you've always been in the service industry, and previous to the restaurant industry, you were a nurse, correct? That's right. I came up to the Trenton area to go to Trenton State, so that's how long ago it was. It was Trenton State when I was there. <laughs> uh, and I worked in nursing for almost 20 years. Wow. Um, and then an opportunity presented itself. Um, the business was for sale. We, uh, I, I bought the business at that time, had it rehabbed, and uh, we've been going strong ever since. Yes. 12 years. 12 years? 12 years. Yep. That's awesome. So you went from nursing a paycheck <laughs> to running your own business. And no paycheck. <laughs> and sometimes there's no paycheck because you've got to pay your staff and your stuff yeah. and your bills first. Yep. Um, you know, and, you know, all that in the beginning. Um, so when you bought it, the business, it was a restaurant, it was a pub. Yeah, I mean, the, the ho- hub stands for the heart of Bordentown, but the hub's been there probably 70 years. Okay, um, so you didn't the, name it. I did not name it, no. And because of where it is, you know, Bordentown City is a very small town. Uh, I am not on Farnsworth Avenue, which is the main business district. I'm one block in. Uh, and my feeling at that time was that I need people to be able to find me. If I change the name and then try and, you know, reinvent Rebrand. the wheel. And I really liked the heart of Bordentown. That's what it stands for. Um, it's a it, great acronym. It really has become the heart of Bordentown. It's like you cheers. Know? Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of a lot of regulars, a lot of friends, um, you know, a lot of great people that uh, support my business. And I was looking at your calendar and you have a lot of things always going on. You've got live music, karaoke. Well, yeah, my feeling is that if you don't give some give people something to do, you know, tell them whether it's a, a drink special or a food special or music on Wednesday nights or karaoke, you have to give people a reason to pick you out of the hundreds of choices they have today. I mean, just in Bordentown City alone, we have 11 or 12 restaurants. I know. Um, and, and it runs the gamut from fine dining to pizza to, you know, my place, which you can get probably the best Reuben in the state of New Jersey. <laughs> and like you were saying, you know, there's always the hot spot and you always have fun tits like in a, in a name, keep up with the Joneses in your business. Yeah. And 
You've managed to kind of reinvent yourself to keep up with the Joneses again. So tell us about your new adventure. Yeah, we started uh, We started very, probably about a month and a half ago, we put a whole new craft beer line in. Um, and uh, we are now selling growlers, which is really fun. They're very cool. They say hard to board in town on them. Uh, and you can get them at the Hob Tavern right now. Uh, and we'll refill them. Actually, for the month of June, for Father's Day... Um, where you buy the growler and uh, get the fill included with the growler. Okay, so not everyone knows what a growler is. What's it's, a growler? <laughs> <laughs> that is the understatement. I thought everybody knew, but, no. um, but I guess the kids know. You know, the younger kids know what the they are. The craft beer drinkers. Yeah. They're two liter bottles. Uh, they have, you know, a secure top that uh, keeps your beer, your draft beer, fresh in your fridge for at least a week. Okay. Um, it's a very sustainable um, way to enjoy your beer. There's no cans. There's no bottles to throw out. Uh, so it's and keeping green. Yeah, very much so. Which is you know in keeping with the city of Bordentown. We, we so now uh, there's no more six packs. It's growlers. <laughs> yeah. Is that well, equivalent still, to it, it? It holds about four pints of beer. Okay. It's two liters. A little shy of of four pints. It's like a bottle of wine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's great because we have BYOBs in town. So, um, you know. You can come and pick up a, a growler and, you know, go to one of the BYOBs or, yeah. oh. you know, head home. That's that was right. kind of the idea when, when it's just another way to to pitch, you know, the Hop Tavern. And, um, you know, I, I yeah, there's see- a lot of fine dining restaurants in town that it's, don't have a liquor license. Right, so right, they right. have to bring it or now they can come to you. Now, what beers do you carry? Uh, right but- now we have, let's see, Mama's Little Pills on, which is a Pilsner, Red Zapple. Uh, a lot of people are drinking this shock top pretzel wheat. Hmm. Um, a little chocolate on it. Tastes like chocolate pretzels. Really? <laughs> yeah. They, they, so you we can't had, say you don't like beer anymore because it's so different I now. I know. That, uh, they make fruity beers. We had a Founders Ru- Rubeus, I believe is how you say it, um, last week that we, we sold out in such a short period of time. And it had like um, a, a berry flavor to it. Very nice. refreshing. Um We have a brown ale, uh, the IPAs. um, People just love IPAs now. So we try and keep at least one or two of them on. And then I have my regulars, Budweiser, Miller Lite, Coors Light. You You do have the the old-fashioned beer, I know. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. My other half wants Miller Lite, and I'm (laughs) like, but there's this fancy, I want Miller Lite. I'm like, fine. Yeah. Um, One of the things, too, that I um, have always admired about what you have you get so involved in the community, and I believe strongly that contributes to your success of the Hob Tavern. And more, absolutely, more restaurants need to get that. However, uh, you know what? Tell us everything you do because you, you're involved in everything, which is well, great. But I mean, twelve years ago, I you know I walked into a business I'd never done before, and it was pretty obvious I had to get to know the people in the city. Uh, it's a small community, very tight knit community. Um, generations of families still live there. Um, I know. It, it's just amazing how you Born know. Town's a lot like Princeton in that respect. Yeah, I, I and and in order for people to know who I was, you have to get out there and get involved. I joined the DBA, which is our business association in Bordentown, um, and have been on the board f- ever since twelve years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which we our our whole goal is to bring people into Bordentown City and and show them what we have to offer as a business district. Um, I've recently gotten involved with the foundation of Bordentown, uh, foundation for Bordentown traditions, which is a rather new group, but that's another group that's, um, you know, believes in community and we wanted to bring back, uh, you know, traditions that have been done in the past, one of which was fireworks, which when, you know, a lot of communities couldn't afford them anymore. So, um, we've been doing events over the last couple of years to bring them back. Uh, we were successful, actually, the first year. Um, I was there last year. Raising enough money. And it was a expensive. wonderful event. A lot of fun. A lot wonderful of fun this event. year. It's July 3rd with a rain date of July 5th. So we're very excited okay. about that. And where's it at? Where are the it's fireworks at, at? Uh, Joe Lawrence Park on Ward Avenue. Okay, off at, by where Town & Country you go down that yes, road? Yes, yes, exactly. Um, and it's a beautiful event. We have a band. We have a food, a whole food court set up. Um, and there's a big field there, so there's plenty of room for lots and lots of people to come out. Yeah, I saw lots of glow sticks being tossed around. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and in addition to that, you guys have... Are you still doing the hayride? Um, the hayride is... Uh, 
not quite sure what we're doing with the hayride right now. We are doing a car show though on um, oh yeah, that's right, July, June twenty first uh, with a rain date of the twenty eighth. That's right in Bordentown City, um, and thanks to Hub City, I have a beer garden um, that has uh, it's kind of a beer garden with a food court, so you can come in, you can um, bring the family, and you can have dinner or. Uh, a cold beer and um, I heard that's a great event we're expecting at least 250 cars um, wow. last year we had close to 200 where is it um, it's right on Farnsworth Avenue we closed the whole street down okay with the lots of help from friends and the city police and yes. chief of police and, a lot of work in that yeah yeah the mayor everybody's very supportive of that event um, and it's a lot it's really turned out to be a lot of fun um, and they're both tradition uh, events okay um, and then the DBA, we do. Um, we also do several events. We're coming up on our second annual beer and wine festival, which will be uh, September thirteenth. Uh, we're mm -hmm. very excited about that, and uh, of course, the twenty fifth annual cranberry festival. I uh, know. We were talking earlier about the twentieth car. Show. Yes, yeah. And this event, I have to give it to Jackie. Jackie Reed has been, she started the event literally 25 years ago. <laughs> I think she said she had six vendors on Walnut Street. Yeah. And now we're probably close to 200 vendors. Um, we have food, we have music, uh, there's a car show. Um, and I mean, it's just a wonderful event. It's a juried craft show. So there's nothing that is not. Uh, there's nothing um, store made. There are handmade products. In fact, they have to submit a photo. Yes, a whole yep. process. You yeah. just don't show up. You really have to. You have be to prove. Approved. And and um, you know, if you're bringing stuff that's machine made, they ask you to leave. <laughs> they do. Yeah. And the thing with um, that event is that I've seen you know people or events start to let in regular and, and the events yeah. start to fail yeah. and she's kept it going 25 years. Very successful. And you've been very instrumental with that. I know you have a booth there. Yep. Well, Mary, I want to thank you for coming into the show. And, you know, Mary has a really great Facebook page. They post all of their amazing, delicious specials yeah, on we're there. On beer menus now. Yeah, beer menus. Check them out on Facebook. It's Hob Tavern mm -hmm. on Facebook.com. And my website's HobTavern.com. And uh, I really want to thank April, and I'm very excited for you. This is Thanks. a really cool thing that you're doing. I know. Um, uh, we're I'm just trying to support community and let people in the community know, please support those who support our community, because it's all about giving back, recycling your dollars. You go into the hob, you spend a couple bucks, you're going to eat, you're going to drink somewhere. But she gives back to the community in many ways, and I just want to thank her for that. And thank you thank for coming you. into the show. Thank you very much. Come to the Hob Tavern. See you there. We'll be back right after these messages. Calling all chocolate lovers. Get your fix at Princeton's only chocolate cafe. Eat, drink, and indulge in luxury chocolate made from cacao beans sourced from the world's finest cocoa plantations. Chill out on the porch with summer favorites like ice cold hot chocolate or house made gelato. Get into the groove with flourless chocolate cake or Nutella fudge. You can even toast your health with a cocoa nib super smoothie or nosh on a nutrition nut cluster. If you're looking for a unique and tasty gift, the folks at Chocolate Lovers can help you make someone happy with a custom box or basket of handmade chocolates or a simple gift certificate. Chocolate Lovers of Princeton hosts chocolate making and tasting events, birthday parties, and corporate training events. For more information, check out Chocolate Lovers website at chocolateloversprinceton.com. That's chocolateloversprinceton.com. Or call 609-291-9100. Chocolate Lovers is open seven days a week, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 609-291-9100.